Tomorrow, uh, the game the other night, you played uh, quite a few more minutes, but uh, got some shots off and looked very, very smooth and comfortable. Was there a difference for you that night, uh, and how can you use that going forward to uh, benefit you? I mean, I, I wouldn't say there was too much of a difference. I mean, my, my focus was a little bit more fine-tuned uh, going into the game. But, I mean, I feel like that was um, – you know, pre pretty good for, you know, myself personally, for my my confidence and then just, you know, good for the whole team in terms of their confidence in me as well. So, I mean, I, I, I was – I, I would have liked to, you know, come out with the win. You know, that, that, that was really what the main focus was. Like, it was like both teams had lost two in a row. So, I mean, I, I didn't want to, you know, let, let us drop three. But we, we got another opportunity tomorrow. Mike Schumann. Yeah, hey, tomorrow. It, it's easy for us to say, okay, tomorrow's knocking down shots again. He must be playing better. Do you do you see it that way? And what do you think? If you do see it that way, what do you think's changed for you here over the last couple of weeks? Um, I, I wouldn't say it's um, about, you know, me knocking down shots. It's just me continuing to know what's going to keep me on the floor because I feel like with more time, you know, I'll, you know, be able to, knock down shots and help the team more on both ends of the floor. But, you know, just staying solid defensively, you know, doing what the coach is asking me that, that you know, doing the things that, you know, help me stay on the floor. That, that I mean, that, that's all it really is, just, you know, sticking to, you know, what I know. Dustin. And tomorrow, I mean, just what have the last just couple of months been like as you have, you know, worked through a shooting slump if you've, as you've had games where you haven't played as much as you would have liked to? I mean, just what was that whole process like for you? What are some things that you had to work through? And how far do you feel like you've come uh, in those two months? Um, I, I feel like it was, a, it was a humbling experience for me. You know what I mean? Just, you know, not, you know, getting too rattled at all and, and not, you know, being shaken up by the, you know, the, the, the so-called uh, slump you know, just, you know, staying the course and, you know, you know, recognizing, you know, what was going on and knowing that it's hills and valleys on this journey I'm taking. So, you know, just, you know, continuing to put the work in and, and you know, not doubt myself at all, you know, and I, and I made sure I was, you know, doing things to, you know, keep my head on straight, you know, reading a lot of books, meditating. So just, just doing things that, you know, and taking care of my mind, you know, that's what really helped me get through these last two months. Tyler. Hey, tomorrow. I hope you're doing well. Um, I guess just kind of going on the the last end, the back end of that question there, um, you mentioned meditating and reading books. Like, can you just kind of go into more depth um, about, you know, what you've been doing to take care of your mind and, and why was that something you wanted to do? I mean, that was something I found, uh, you know, really important just because like, you know, everything starts up top. So it's like, you know, I, and, I mean, that, that's something that my dad is, he, that he's big on and you know even last year like in high school like the guys that I was around like the coaching staff that that was something that they stressed that was really important so just you know you know now I, I would say it was just like recognizing that my physical health is just as important as my mental health so that that, that was all it was and I wanted to take a more uh serious approach and I actually you know put action towards it Tom Brew Tomorrow, we've talked a lot, especially early in the year, about how you, you were such a confident kid when you got here. Uh, so to go through uh, what you went through on, uh, in that, what about in regards to talking to people? Like, who, do you, who is it you turn to, whether it's teammates, coaches, family, whatever, who is it you turn to to have good, strong conversations with? I would say that the main person is really my dad. Like, my, my dad, I can call him and he'll – He'll call me just because, like, I'm his son, so he'll, he'll know just off of a look on my on face whether he watched the game on TV or he was here, you know, he, he can have an idea of kind of what's going on with me. So, you know, I, I have a lot of great conversations with him. Like, a lot of the books that I have, or like, he mailed them to me. So I, I would say my dad and my brother, you know, those are two people that I really, you know, look to to, you know, just have open conversations with, and, you know, um, you know, just turn to talk to whenever I'm in need. Last question, Matthew Byrne. Uh, hey, Tamar, hope you're doing well. Um, what do you think is the main thing that you've improved on from the start of Big Ten play um, up until now? 
Um, I, I would say my defense has improved the most, you know, just recognizing what's going on, you know, really um, paying attention to scout, watching a lot of film with the coaches and, you know, just, you know, just, just knowing when things are coming and, you know, being able to call it out. And then the other thing I would say is just like I've figured out like different approaches, you know, to coming off of the bench, just like, you know, really watching the game and like seeing what's going on, seeing what we're doing right defensively, wrong defensively, and then what the other team is doing defensively to exploit that when I get in the game um, on the offensive end. So I would say those two things that have, um, things I've improved on as Big Ten play has been going on. All right, Tyler, one more. Yeah, Tyler, tomorrow, one more. tomorrow I was just curious um, what books you had mentioned the books, like are there any kind of specific books that you've really been getting into reading? Um, I, the, the main author I've been uh, diving into is John Gordon. I just finished up The Garden. It's another book um, called Sticking Together by him. And then The Energy Bus. Those, those are three that I have by him. And then there's another one, like just like with a lot of inspirational quotes in it. And then I'm, I'm trying to remember his name, but like the the first he that he went to IU and he, like, he was like the first um, African-American to play in the NCAA. Like I have that book about that story and I, I'm about to um, – start reading that. So th those are some of the books that I've been reading. Is that George Tyler Farrow? I think I think so.